Cause I be with my nigga than just my brothers Yeah, I said I ain't a goat, no, I didn't stutter Ever since I was a shorty, motto guns and butter Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel um, I'm just gonna pick up the camera and vlog today It's just gonna be a day in my life in New York City um, if you don't know already, I just moved here. This will be the third episode. I haven't been vlogging every day, but like every other day. Um, right now, I'm just about to get my clothes ready to go work out. I'm not going to get any footage of me working out because I'm just going to go for a run. Hey, everybody. So I'm back from my workout. I closed my exercise ring. Um, now I'm about to just drink some water make a smoothie, sit down for a second before I take a shower and get dressed for the day. It's really good but I mostly taste banana. And I kinda wanted to taste more mango, but it's really good. Hey everybody, so I took a shower, got ready. Now I'm about to head to the subway to go downtown. First stop is gonna be Little Island. I live my phone, I got options. And I don't wanna tell you to drop it. But I don't wanna play your face. We look at you too often. Even to the little island. So beautiful. Baby, I can run all the time. Baby, I'm talking crazy. I need you right in my space. But I need it, baby. I'm late, but I still can check in with you. So I'm out here and I'm dripping sweat. I'm used to California heat, but something about this being hot with a little bit of humidity. My body just starts leaking. I am sweating. Know that I need my friends, but I wouldn't wanna leave. Even though I wouldn't wanna bleed. Even my heart, my mind, and my body. I'm here. It's so beautiful. I walked through once showing my mom, but I'm going to go back towards the start and get some footage for you guys. It is so pretty. Enjoy. Hey guys, I am back home. The subway was packed. I'll insert I'll insert a little clip so you can kind of see like how many feet I got on during like rush hour when people got off work. My mistake. It got even more busy. And I usually try not to sit down on the subway because I don't want to be put in a position where I need to like give up my seat to like an elderly person because I'll start feeling bad and no one else does it. So I just usually stand up. But when a seat opened up on this one and I still had some stops to go, I sat 
down, but no, no elderly person needed to see it. That's what I found out. I had to take a shower. I just got out the shower. Um, if you guys are thinking about coming to New York, there's a couple tips. September is so hot. I've only been here once before. And the one time I was here was in December. And so it was cold. And in my head, it was like, oh, probably like summertime in New York is probably can't be any hotter than California. We could get to the 100s. It was 94 degrees today and it's a little bit of humidity. When I, it's like when I step out, when I think about walking outside, I start bubbling sweat, bubbling sweat. So ladies, if you're thinking about, and men too, okay, I'll say. But specifically to my ladies, if you're thinking about moving to New York, get you some pepper spray. Um, it's not sponsored, but I have the one that clips on your hand, it's Sabra, and you can just actively hold it. I hold it when I'm running and I have it with me on the subway. Get you some because people's uncles be out here in a drought and I am not a glass of water. And I almost had to peek, peek, boop, 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 somebody's uncle, cause he wanted to, mm, I said no. And I was already on a mission home and like hyper aware because I always try to get in before it gets dark because of the rats. That's my main reason, I'm gonna be honest. And because it's only me. So I always try to get in before it gets dark and it was like past sunset. So it was like still daylight in the sky, but it started to get dark and I was on a mission. So he really, I was like hyper focused and he really almost got two pieces and pepper spray, whatever he needed to come back to his senses, okay? So I don't want my videos to over romanticize New York. It is beautiful. And I think like the community is really great for the most part, but I feel like anywhere you are, especially in any major city, you have to just be aware of your surroundings, but nothing too crazy happened to me. Um, I actually had a really great day. It's just bubbling sweat. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been posting every other day New York vlogs, so please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to see what I can do in the month of September if I keep posting like every other day. Hey guys, I'm in bed and I just want to go on the record saying that being in New York and seeing all of the like square air conditioning box sticking out of the windows out of high buildings unlocked a new fear for me that air conditioning is gonna fall on my head like what's the science behind that how does that stay in the window this is what i'm thinking about before i go to sleep i seen some of them had the wood piece but are we really all putting that much faith in wood because the proportion is off the most of the heaviness is sticking out the back side of the window not in the apartments does anyone else think about these things and are we okay Butter. Butter. Butter.